two articles or two things I want to talk about in the leadership and business side of things. Um, one, uh, just going over the book I'm reading from Simon Sinek, I love it. Uh, he narrates it himself on Audible. It's Leaders Eat Last. It's all about, you know, I, for me, look, I am a leader based on the fact that I own the company, right? I don't think I'm a good leader. Um, I want to be. I think the desire to be a good leader and the, the desire to have a good culture at this company and, and uh, you know, I think I'm good with my kids. I think I'm good that way, but, you know, I'm always trying to improve that. And I think that his concepts here are very good. He talks about how uh, the devaluation of people within companies, how, um, you know, that, that, you know, 50 years ago, how much people mattered and, and protecting people and, and being that person that, you know, you, you offered protection to the people that worked for you and you took care of them and, and you didn't treat them as if they were expendable. And then somewhere in the 80s and in the 90s, it got to be awful. Like mm -hmm. People were just, you know, you know I think it was uh, GE where they, Jack Welsh would, would promote uh, the top 15% and fire the bottom 10%. And it, that went on for a long time and they were incredibly profitable doing it. But, you know, what kind of culture and what kind of future does that, does that give your company? Mm -hmm. It goes into, um, you know, the focus on... Uh, uh, stock valuations compared to you know what the company is actually worth, and it's it's a he goes into the like the chemicals in your brain and what causes you to feel safe and and enjoy where you are. Also, cortisol and serotonin and everything. It's it's incredibly interesting, but I'll probably have to listen to it twice. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's it's so good, and there's so but there's so much information. I think it's probably a a two time read. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds like, yeah, and that's I mean that's. I think why anyone that is that moves on, you know, it's not because it's. I think rarely because you're courted to a new position. Although that, I mean, that's happened to me once. I think, um, but it's because you don't feel valued, you right. know, by your your superiors and leaderships. And I think that, you know, one of the true tests that I see for that is if. I used to until I, you know, started my own company, is that you know is my boss and their boss and their bosses, you know, are they all trying to better themselves? Yeah. And if they're not, then you know you kind of know that you're not, you know, bettering yourself is not going to be part of their plan because right. they're, not, they're not out. Well, and then the other on the other side of it, are they trying to better themselves and in turn also better you, mm -hmm. right? Are they encouraging you to do more for yourself? Are they encouraging you to, you know, are they showing you a way to, giving you a path mm -hmm. like for advancement or for whatever your priorities are, whether it's more time at home or more money or whatever you want? You know, is there something that they're doing to help you along? Mm -hmm. 